Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Evidence and in today's video I am going to show you how to calculate precision recall and F1 score from a confusion matrix. So in the last video I showed you how to build a confusion matrix like this. You know, this is the default confusion matrix and you can make it look like this or like this. So in today's video I'll focus mostly on showing you how to calculate precision and recall from your confusion matrix. So I'm going to show you two ways. I'm going to show you how to get a confusion, how to get F1 score precision and recall using a scikit learn library. And then I'm going to show you how to do it manually, but I'm going to show you how to do it using a binary classification confusion matrix. So in the last video, this is a confusion matrix that I built here. And this is the actually predicted, this is the actual values and this is the predicted values for um, each one of these classes. And the classes are three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right. So to get precision recall and F1 score is very simple. We simply do from sklearn dot matrix import classification report and then we do print classification report and then if you look at the documentation for classification report as Google Colab has given us a preview here the first thing you provide is your true value and then the second thing you provide is your predicted value and we are just going to do that so if we do y test as our true value and then y spread lr so i did a logistic regression model and my predicted values are stored in this variable and y test is holding the true test values let's go ahead and run this we need an extra parenthesis here okay so in this Data frame is a multi-class classification. We have seven different classes. And for each class, we have the precision, the recall, and the F1 score for our from our logistic regression model. Okay, so this is the classification report from a, for a, lo a logistic regression model that I did earlier. Now, how do you actually calculate um, this information manually? from a confusion matrix like this. Well, I'm gonna show you that using a binary classification um, matrix. So if you're just looking at this, it's gonna, be, it's gonna make it more difficult or more complex than it needs to be. But before I show you how to do it manually, let's go ahead and define confusion. Let's go ahead and define precision recall and F1 score just to make sure everybody is on the same page. All right, so this is the confusion matrix for a binary classification class. Um, the binary classes are 0 and 1, 0 and 1. So this is a simple confusion matrix, right? Before I show you how to calculate this manual, let's go ahead and describe this. What is precision and recall? Precision is when the classifier predicts yes. How often is it correct? Basically, out of all the positive predictions, how many is actually positive? And this is done by true positive divided by predicted yes. So that is true positive divided by true positive plus false positive. All right. And then recall is what is the percentage of actual yes when the model predicts yes. And I know precision and recall gets um, very confusing, but I'll do my best to kind of explain the difference here. So what is the actual positive prediction given all the possible positive class? Okay, how much of the positive class is predicted correctly? So this is kind of three different ways to kind of look at it and try to make sense of what recall means. And then um, true and then recall is calculated by true positive divided by actual yes, which is like true positive divided by true positive plus false negative. If it's false negative, then yes, then it is actually positive that was incorrectly predicted. 
if it is false positive that means it is ne um, negative that was predicted as positive okay so this is the predicted yeses and this is the actual yeses okay so an F1 score is a weighted average of the true positive rate, which is recall and precision. F1 score helps to measure recall and precision at the same time. So if you just look at the precision or just the recall of a model, it's kind of difficult to evaluate a model just based on the precision and recall. So that's why we came up with F1 score. F1 score is a way to combine these two individual scores to get a more accurate representation of the model's performance. So with that said, let's look at how to calculate it manually. And this is just something else I wrote to kind of also help me and help you remember precision and recall. So let's go ahead and make a list of our true positives and negatives and false positive and negative. So true positive, is equal to and I'm just gonna go ahead and copy this four times all right so looking at this what's going to be our true positive so what is something that was at let's put our one as positive and zero as negative okay this data frame is predicting if somebody has diabetes or not so one is yes which means they have diabetes and zero is no, which means they don't have diabetes, all right? So let's say what is actually one and predicted to be one. So how many individual um, samples was actually yes and correctly predicted as yes? Well, that's 68, all right? And our true negative is like something that is um, zero which is no and it's actually no that's 28 that's our true negative and then we have false positive right it's actually zero but it's predicted to be one that's five okay that's our false positive so it's predicted that the person here that's five people here has diabetes but actually they don't so that's five people and then false negative is going to be 3, which means it's predicted that they don't have diabetes, but actually they do. So that's 3 people. So now that we have um, these values, let's go ahead and use it to calculate our precision recall and other metrics. So recall, recall is equal to true positives, right, divided by true positive plus false negative let's go ahead and do our recall and in this situation our recall score is 0 0.95 and once we finish calculating this manually i am going to do a classification report just to double check our work but i wanted to show you how to do it manually so now let's go ahead and do our precision our precision is equal to true positive divided by true positive plus false positive and then let's do precision here and our precision is 0 0.93 okay now let's do our f1 score so f1 score is equal to precision times recall this is the formula for x1 score divided by precision plus recall all times two okay so to calculate the f1 score you multiply the precision and the recall and then you divide it by the precision plus recall and multiply all of that by two all right so if we go ahead and do f1 score so our f1 score is 0 0.94 so now let's go ahead and build build a classification report to check our work and see if it's correct, you know. So let's go ahead and do from sklearn.metrics import classification report and print classification report. And now let's go ahead and run this. 
And as you can see right here, the F1, the recall for our positive class is 0. Point, no, the precision for our positive class is 0. 0.93. The recall is 0. 0.96, which is what we got. And the F1 score is 0. 0.94. And this is for the positive class. And of course, you could do the same for the negative class. And the accuracy is um, 0. 0.92. And just to quickly recap again, precision recall and F1 score. So, so recall is basically identifying only cases that matter the most. And you can think of this as the number of relevant results divided by the total number of all relevant results. True positive divided by all the positive numbers. So basically true positive plus false negative and then precision is identify all positive cases so the number of relevant results or information divided by all available results so that's basically true positive divided by true positive plus false negative so and i know it's kind of difficult to keep track of which one is precision, which one is recall. And for me personally too, I have to keep going back to my notes to remind myself which one is precision, which one is recall. But um, that's basically it. That is how you would calculate precision and recall and F1 score from a confusion matrix. And that is how to use an scikit to learn library to also calculate the same thing. I hope you like this video. To get access to this notebook that I use in today's video, just go to machinelearningeducation.com. This is a platform I created specifically for giving you access to data science resources. So if you click on that link, you get to this page and once you are here, you'll be able to get access to this notebook and any other notebook that I use. I make a lot of YouTube videos and blog posts and end up with a lot of notebooks and I just find it easier more straightforward to create a singular platform where I put all my data science notebooks like this one I use today it's going to be in here inside this platform and in here I also have YouTube videos blog posts and other stuff and also you can visit me online at evidencen.com this is my primary website where I create data science blog posts and as time goes by, I'll create more and more data science blog posts. And if you're here on my personal website, you can go to free data science resources and also be able to get access to this page. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. If you didn't like this video, but you made it this far in the video, please give it a double thumbs down and still subscribe to the channel. Either way, I'll talk to you next time. Bye.